Hey there, everyone. Uh, this is Okao, and this is part two of the advent. It's the part where it's all ambushes all the time, and I woke up today with these two private messages here on Talk House. So we're going to start with that. Philby boosting themselves right in. I feel like, yeah, every day, every day, every year, we get a little update from Philby. <clears throat> hey there, now, cow. Boosting myself. Yeah, remember when I used to call ambushes boosts? I don't know why that changed. Boosting myself in at the last minute this year. I'm sorry to say I've fallen off watching your videos every day. You see, I've started working full-time for the first time in my life, and it's been going pretty well. But my free time is taking a hit. Even so, your videos are always there to brighten my day when I need it. I don't have anything to give aside my best wishes. No mass piracy this year. I just hope you have a great holiday and a wonderful 2023. Signed, a powerful wizard, Philby Pot. Oh man, that, that old chestnut. Well, you know, I've said before this year, like, that's fine. I'm glad that you got, you're got you working full-time now. Like, you are uh, finding your way through life here. That's pretty cool. Like, it's it's fine if you don't watch all of my videos. It's absolutely okay. Never apologize for that. There's a reason why I upload so much, because I assume people aren't going to watch everything. But that is, I'm, I'm just glad you're doing well. And honestly, I'm glad that, you know, you're taking charge of things now. Uh, like it starts with working every day and if at some point it's going to turn into eating sausages whenever you want to. Uh, that there, that there is a life upgrade. And Burnt Tenda with day 24th, 24th of December 24th. Me read on camera. I hope so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Gaokao, the ending for Mario Galaxy. For real, instead, this has been a great year for me. I know I have not been active on a talk house in a long time, but your videos have still been a part of my day-to-day -day routine regardless. I've reconnected with someone over the past year, and I've fallen in love all over again. I've also gone to work some. Overall, I have had lots of new experiences and have made life worth living. I hope you're... Man, just... That's kind of intense, isn't it? Hope you're here has been great too, Mr. Al Cow and Mr. The Cow, and thank you for another year of fun LPs. Man, there's been kind of a theme of that, huh? Theme of people just lives taking a turn for the better, for the for for the slightly more stable. And that in itself is just like all sorts of wonderful to hear. Like that is just absolutely fantastic. All right. Uh, so not that big, but still pretty big. I I did I did not look ahead for trailers because I don't know if I'm going to. And look at that, it's Crow that's starting again. Your timing he just knows exactly how it needs to be. Ow cow! Someone sold my other goatee, Spark Three. So you're only getting one fantastic Sonic style platforming from you this year. Anyway, this is the best 2D Sonic ever. Sign Crow. Yeah, so Freedom Planet has definitely been in my orbit. And there's a sequel too, adding extra pressure to get on going with it. Fast-paced platforming of Freedom Planet returns, become a full-time cartoon heroine, and use abilities and items suited to your playstyle to explore the world of Avalis and defend its animal citizens. Yeah, I mean, that that looks like Freedom Planet with a 2 added to the logo. Yeah, I heard the first one is fantastic. I haven't really heard all that much about the second one, but it's probably because it's still pretty new. I have to assume it's also pretty good if it's your Game of the Year Part 2. So, that that, that sounds pretty good. Ow cow, dude bro, enjoy! And this comes from MJ Bites, also known as Agent Tough Juice. Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain is a roguelite, right? With like little sprite-based people. Well, there's a sequel. Escape a chaotic alien planet by fighting through hordes of frenzied monsters with your friends or on your own. Combine loot in surprising ways and master each character until you become the havoc you feared upon your first crash landing. Oh boy, a game where you gradually become the monster. That's like the best kind there is out there. I do feel like I would need to play the first game first. Hey, the arch, the arch is just showing up a lot these past few days, and I'm sensing a theme. 
Oh, cow. Hmm. Given I'm a beat em up kick, I'm on a beat em up kick. You are not. You are on on it. I may as well follow up on something I did last year and give you way forward games. Enjoy River City Girls 1 and 2. Spoiler. There's two right here. Again, I heard these games, the series, are like fantastic with just beautiful sprite work and animation. The Arch Dirt has those two games. Like they just described on their own. Did it. River City, I think it's supposed to be part of the same like uh, universe as River City. Like on the NES, like Kunio Kun. There's trouble once again. Well, they say once again. So, in River City, and this time, only the girls can save the day. Using a variety of attacks, weapons, items, these hot-blooded heroines are ready to teach the city's low lives a lesson. Either solo and two-player co-op. It's an old-school rumble for a new generation. What, is it, what does it change on number two, though? Like, does it... How, how does it... Have, the, it's the same girls. They're in different poses, though. And you got people all around. Which implies they're all single, like, they're all player characters. The two of them are not girls, so that gets confusing. The River City girls are back. Misako, Kyoko, Kunio. Yeah, like, Kunio, is, that's a boy. And Riki, joined by newcomers Marion and Provi, hit the streets for an all-new beat-em-up adventure. Team up for local online co-op, explore massive world pack with new abilities, enemies, location, and more. The more is squirrels. So many squirrels in the street. All right, well, that was the Flub Man Power Hour, so everyone strap in. Okay, I know that you probably won't have the time for this game. Dozens of hours required, but if your schedule allows it, here it is. Monster Hunter Call in the World. So Monster Hunter, I've never played Mon Hunt. I've seen a little bit of footage. However, I feel like I know a lot about it because one of my friends... Uh, one of my best friends out there is a big fan of the series, and so naturally, they talk to me about the game a whole lot. So I have a kind of a grasp of what kind of game it is, even though I've never played myself. I've always wanted to, but it's true. Like, from what I hear, like, a, a play session kind of has, like, you can't really get away with a play session that's, like, less than an hour or something per thing you do. Which, oh man, that's a big obstacle for me and the way that I interact with the world of video games. And I've kind of hinted at that, a flub man, I feel like, in PMs. But yet, here it is nonetheless. Welcome to a new world. And Monhan Wo, the latest installment in the series, can enjoy the ultimate hunting experience using everything at your disposal to hunt monsters in a new world, teeming with surprises and excitement. Monster Hunter, the game IP that probably saved Capcom once. Oh, okay, that's DLC for it. Yeah, it says expansion there in, in the blurb. Explore a new world and beyond in Iceborne. Uh, Monster Hunter World's adventure reaches new height in Iceborne with new, 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 new possibilities, break-taking universe. Everything you love about chinchillas. Uh, then this happened. <laughs> I didn't expect that, okay. So I know I own Doom Eternal. Well, here's the year one pass. What does that mean? You pull the back from the end of extension, we came at a cause, and bounce pound from the all of creation. Now you must rise and set things right. Do you maternal the ancient gods? Oh, so we're going from like Satan to 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 more Lovecraftian place. Alright. And here's the rip and tear pack too. Bonus level. Race hell with the rip and tear pack and get in-game cosmetic and additional single player content. That is such a bad blurb. <laughs> I mean, it's straight to the point. If it's gonna be bad, I'd rather it be straight to the point, but oh, man, it doesn't say anything. If you're buying this, they kind of assume you know what you want. <laughs> and I think that's really funny. Wait, so I was... So, wait, so I did not have Doom Eternal? Huh. I... I guess I didn't... Don't do... Oh, it's probably Doom 2016 I own. Wait, so it let me buy this DLC, or I'll accept this DLC, when I didn't have the game itself, but now I got the game, so I guess it's all good. You know what, that's fair, I'm not fighting it. Flumman still isn't done, though. Oh, cow, I haven't played these games, but they're getting delisted in January, so here you go. 
I just heard about that yesterday. Yeah, because so there have been a theme of shmups, right? Japanese shmups and bullet hells and whatnot. And yeah, it was mentioned that the XC collection would vanish from the world of Steam next year. Well, I got the entire XC collection now. Oral Brutality is the name they gave to that. Uh, so that includes XC Gun Bullet Children. That's the name. XC Gun Bullet Children original soundtrack. XC Second Vampire Rex. Vampire Rex original soundtrack. Jade Penetrate Black Package. What is happening with your subtitle, Exceed? Apparently, this is an absolutely ridiculously hard series. Again, a bit of a theme going on this year. I don't know if you've noticed. Hey, a little bit of a change here. We got Roy Curbs popping up. He's like, ow, oh, ow, cow, cow game. Best wishes, bet wishes. That's funny. Uh, down purr, not down poor, down purr. Mimi's platformer shooter adventure through a land of magic, cats and rain. Well, they, they're showing the cats and the spiritual cats behind it. No, they imply the magic. But it didn't show any rain on the box art. Like, maybe it's supposed to be like a little surprise how it shows up. I don't know. Downper is a really cute pun, though. Like, that is some solid pun work. Congratulations. I don't know how to finish that statement, but... Hey, now there's also a game I, t I heard about. Cow to the cow. You like treaty platformers with two T's. Fat plumbers and Briegel too, maybe. You surely love kiwis too. I mean, the bird. Here you go. Vila Vergnagen. Darkness Guard. Darkness Guard. That's a name. I feel like it's been a bit since I heard. Hey, I hope you're doing all right. Here's Super Kiwi 64 from the makers of uh, Tori. Here's Super Kiwi with a 64 on it. Treaty platformer and collect a ton. A low poly late 90s console. Uh, yeah, I, I I feel like I'm just going to play the entirety of... What's the name of that company? The company with the pink S as a logo. I'm just going to play all their stuff. Like I feel like at this point, it's just happening. It is inevitable. And the one last shove for the road on this Christmas Eve... Fusion Warrior just kind of melts onto the scene. It's like, almost there. The absolute hilarious cat game. That is a box art that just screams, wow, I know what I'm doing. How's it going? The absolutely hilarious cat game is exactly what you would expect it to be. The only thing is, things take a dark turn when you wake up in a place you shouldn't be. Wrong place, wrong time, I suppose. Watch out, felines are on the prowl and gingers peak. Get the job done, then get out. Man, that that blur barely coherent. Like I feel like it changes like like it's half one big long run on sentence that sort of changes what it's saying three times. It's pretty good. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know. I, I see I see I see the, this name and I see this box art and I I am getting weird skeevy vibes. I I don't think it's gonna be hilarious. I don't know what it's going to be though. Like I am getting major horror vibes somehow. Maybe it's because everything is so dark and like in the spotlight. So maybe my fear is artificial and handcrafted. In which case I reply. All right, I guess that doesn't really change anything now, does it? 